Hello everyone, my name is Krishna and I work with Dr. Wei Wang. Today I'll be talking about ride sharing inspired pricing model for QoE driven 60 wireless multimedia communications. In today's wireless communication, the resources that are available with the base station are divided into time and frequency domain blocks. When a user wants to get service, they join one of the resource block and the base station sends them their data. When all the resource blocks are taken, new users would join an existing resource block and the base station serves them in a round dropping fashion. This is called as orthogonal frequency division multiple access. Researchers are now proposing non-orthogonal multiple access where signals corresponding to different users in a single resource block would be superposition coded on top of one another and transmitted simultaneously. The users would use successive interference cancellation to decode their data from the overlying signal. NOMA is indeed one of the most promising solutions to mitigate the traffic congestion and reduce latency. However, OMA on the other hand has been used over several decades to transmit content wirelessly. OMA allocates the whole channel to a single user. OMA is also an ideal candidate for low bandwidth application and it promotes frequency reuse. For these reasons, the OMA is not going to completely go away, whereas it's going to coexist with NOMA in the upcoming years. The existing pricing model that we have for our OMA network is going to fail in a hybrid NOMA OMA network. The scope of our research is to investigate quality of experience driving pricing models like the one we have for a ride sharing as a suitable paradigm for wireless communications. For example, Uber asks, four different pricing tires and irrespective of the pricing tire the user chooses, the user always gets from the source to the destination. The user pays for the quality of experience. The cheapest option Uber Express Pool involves the user to walk to a common starting point and then share the ride with another user. Whereas the most expensive option is a door-to-door -door service with a premium car. If we extend this idea to wireless communication, the users can choose a OMA resource block with high power and low interference for applications such as self-driving cars and gaming where the user pays more. And the user can choose a NOMA resource block with high interference and low power for applications such as video surveillance and IoT. Extending this idea to wireless multimedia communication, the multimedia content available with the base station is encoded into like different types. An analogy to this would be to consider encoding one as a 4K video, encoding two as a 1080p video, and encoding four as like a 720p video and so on. The user can choose the type of encoding to purchase. Once the user decides that, the user can split the data among different resource blocks. For example, the iframe, which is the independent frame and the most important frame can be purchased through a OMA resource block where P frames, which are the next level of important frames and they depend upon the I frames using either a OMA or a NOMA resource blocks. The B frames, which are the least important frames could be like purchased using a NOMA resource block. Given such a setting, the essential questions are how should the user actually split up the data with the available resource blocks and how much should the base station charge for each of the resource block or the data to maximize their profits. This utility maximizing interplay was then translated into a two-stage Stackelberg game with the base station as the leader and the end user as the follower. The solution for the game was derived using backward induction technique and cop concave optimization with Newton's method. The solution derived was at Nash equilibrium, meaning both the base station and the end user do not have any incentive to deviate from the strategy that was derived. The simulations that we carried out on MATLAB illustrated that each of the resource block with varied characteristics was best suitable for different applications. For example, resource block 1, which was a OMA block with no interference, was best suitable for self-driving cars, whereas resource block 5, which had a lot of interference, was best uh, suited for video surveillance and IoT applications. Irrespective of the resource block choice, the user was always able to achieve best QE. To conclude, the proposed pricing scheme simultaneously improves network capacity, boosts base station revenue, and enhances end-user QoE. 
Thank you.